Meta Whirlpiece was one of the NBA's most formidable players and a member of the LA Lakers championship winning team in 2010. He's remembered as much for that historic victory as he is for his post-game interview when he stunned the world opening up about his mental health struggles. That revelation came after a series of unforgettable public crashes that started to overshadow his professional achievement. The worst being an on-court brawl that escalated into the stands. Some were quick to judge Meta for his erratic behavior and even called him, quote, crazy, a label he's fought hard to shake off. The husband and father of four has been very open about his therapy and how it's changed him for the better, now saying he's happy and enjoying life. And we're happy to have Meta World Peace join us now on the show. So good to see you. I mean, I'm just looking at your eyes, and, and I love to see the serenity in it, not to mention that amazing uh, picture behind you. Uh, you recently <laughs> changed your name again, Meta Sanderford Artest, and that was to include your wife's last name. You are always evolving. No one can put you in a hole. I mean, and seriously, it's like you're always changing and evolving. Take me to the decision to add your wife's name, a very progressive move. I mean, I thought we just we were so similar. And nice to meet you, Tamara. Oh. Thanks for having me on your show. Um, yeah, we're, we're very similar from a standpoint. You know, I've been uh, hiring women for a long time. Uh, I have two daughters. I had my fair share of mistakes uh, growing up and developing bad habits, and I can, you know, just from things you experience, things you see, um, and and things you thought was the norm. You know, back in 99, a lot of things were was the norm. That's not the norm right now. Yeah. And so you think about a lot of those, when you think about a lot of those things, like, okay, how can you actually add value, you know, to society and add value to women? So I've been advocating my main partner is a female, I only hired female for quite some time, interns to 1099s for a long time. And, and you know, my wife said, hey, we're changing it to Sandiford. <laughs> I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> You're going to change it to my last name. And, you know, we kind of saw, we, was, we, we had um, differences, but ultimately I, I changed it and I took her last name. You took her last name. You talk about being on the forefront of making sure you hire women in your organizations. You help normalize the conversation of mental health, especially for athletes. Um, I think about all of the people who followed in your footsteps. Michael Phelps comes to mind um, recently talking about his mental health. Do you recognize the impact that you've had being so open and actually being honestly persecuted publicly um, by those who didn't know what was happening with you mentally? Yeah, I think uh, when you... A lot of the things that stem from places where from, you could grow up as a kid, you, know, you come out, I came out of my mom's womb, and you're pure as pure as could be as a, as a child. Mm -hmm. Some people do label the child as, as they come out the mom's womb. Like if you grow up in a hood, that child is from the hood, that's it. Mm -hmm. um, then you get older, you, you're happy, just like any five-year-old, six-year-old child. You just go outside. You don't think about, oh, I don't have no money, or oh, I have money. You just want to play outside, see your mom, see your, see your dad. And then when things start piling on, you know, our neighborhoods and communities are uh, drug-infested. I was born in 79, so I was definitely born in the crack era. And when you talk about Queensbridge Community Projects, the biggest federal housing projects in America, you know, just like every other project in America, we was hit hard, right? So then you start to experience things that pile up. Yeah, and that, that stuff piled up to the point where, like I said, we look at that moment, that infamous moment in the stands, people thought that it was an anger management issue. But when you started going into therapy, it wasn't that, it was anxiety, it was depression, it was childhood trauma. Um, it was a lot of the things that you discovered about yourself. Right now, how do you describe your mental state do you do you take medicines to calibrate how, how do you function day to day well when, well when you talk about the stands when i went into the stands and uh, attacked the fan um i was laying on the scores table i was at work but a lot of times the media they edited out the part where the fan actually hit me yeah and um and it's yeah ir irresponsible media you know and uh not that I'm worried about it, I'm kind of over it, but Fan hit me with a couple of 
there. Yeah. Well, listen, I remember vividly covering it, and I remember the, the, the pile on for sure, but that's the past. And we know that you've put in the work um, as a dad of four um, and as an advocate for people with mental health. I know you are also working on the app that you have to make sure that sports is accessible to everyone. It's called X versus X Sports. The app was inspired by where you are, I think, Ron, in your meta in your life right now, yeah. in that you're trying to bring people in to a world that is not always welcoming, which includes sports. Well, you definitely want to add sports. You know, I think when you go through anything in life, no matter anything that I was going through, I was always still involved in philanthropy and help and trying to give back. Because sometimes what, what happened with me was I was going through so much, I almost gave up on doing philanthropy, but I knew I was always built to do philanthropy. Yeah. So, you know, with sports, I feel like it's a way to uh, release. Uh, often people can, be, can have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, stress. And when you go out and work out, run, ride a bike, do something active in the community, face to face, not just on social media, is actually really healthy. You know, a lot of things I learned along the way to, to help to help me cope with different things. Even um, when I would get into a situation and my first reaction would be to fight, but when I got older and working with my therapist, my, my first reaction started to become to breathe yeah. and use the tools that you have inside of you, you know, to you know, to, 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 to take on those challenging situations where normally where we from, we just say, okay, we got a problem, we just gonna handle right. it. You You're know, 41 years old kind of now. Me. You're 41 now. I can't even believe it. I mean, you look at the video of the baby that was on court there. You're 41 <laughs> years old. You've learned to balance. You've learned to manage some of this. Um, how often do you go to therapy right now? Is it a once a week thing for you? Is it a monthly thing? How do you maintain? Well, I used to go often. When I was playing, I was going often. Then I stopped for a while. But then I, wanted, I started to go back. Uh, I've, I've started to do a lot of business and it became really stressful, honestly. Mm -hmm. So I'm back in therapy. Because uh, sometimes you can get so caught up. Yeah. And this is the first time I've experienced something else I'm passionate about other than basketball. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm really in um, therapy now, just to have more balance. Uh, but pro previously, it was to, uh, to balance my professional career, you know, and the challenges of being a parent was really tough. I was 16 years old when I had my first, and I wasn't quite ready. Yeah. Uh, then I had my second at 18, third at 20, and fourth at 22, all back to back. And so when I was 26, I started to, to take parenting classes because I was spiraling out of control. So it really helped me out tremendously. Wow. Listen, you never hold back. You are so open, and I appreciate that. Congratulations on this app. When we all are able to have guests in studio, I would love for you and Maya to come on because there is so much that you just touched upon, even um, the idea of dads taking parenting classes and learning and investing in breaking some of the cycles. I think that is a beautiful thing that you've been committed to, and I appreciate you joining us. And congratulations on the app. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Absolutely.